Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mobility Engineering's Q&A series. Thanks for tuning in, and this is your resident road safety expert, Ali Barian, back again to answer all your questions. Today we've, uh, well, actually before I kick on about today's uh, question, I want to show you this uh, new pillow I've got. It's the subscribe pillow. So what I want you guys to do is look for a button that looks a bit like this pillow, and uh, hit it and subscribe to our channel and make sure you subscribe and see all of our uh, new videos upcoming. Um, we are going to bring more and more of these Q&A videos. It's a permanent fixture on our YouTube channel. So not only subscribe, send us through the questions. And uh, I've got a question here from someone who's definitely listened and um, sent through some questions. And they've uh, sent some questions before, so this is another round of questions. So we have um, a question from Ben at Midcoast Motorsafe. And I'll put a link down to Midcoast Motorsafe down below. Um, so Midcoast Motorsafe is our a reseller or dealer out on the north coast in Port Macquarie, a fantastic little family business that we strongly support and we love the fact that he's so passionate about finding out the right information for his customers that he sends us in these questions. We do the research and we find it out and we'll, we'll send it for you then and all of your customers as well. So thanks very much for that. Now the question he's got is, we've got a um, OT that's come in, he's a driving assessor as well, and he's got a client that has got portable hand controls. So what hand controls are, are they are controls that you would normally use to accelerate and brake the vehicle, that's what we would call them here, hand controls. Um, and there'd be a mechanical lever down through to your um, accelerator pedal and your brake pedal, and you would use them to actuate the uh, accelerator and brake pedal. Now on the market there is something called portable hand controls which are sort of a clip-on system. And we've seen them around and we've heard about them. However, the answer is, are they illegal or legal and will they be approved for NDIS or, or anything like that, can they go through? The short answer is no, they can't be used. So they're definitely illegal. Portable hand controls have a couple of issues with them. Look, they are fantastic from the fact that you can portable them around. So I don't deny that factor of it. I, I do think that they do have a, a place. However, when we come to vehicle standards and certification in their current state in Australia and the current way that they are, um, this portable system does not comply. It doesn't comply for a couple of reasons. The first reason, and which is actually the main and underlying reason, is that the portable hand controls must be in accordance with the Australian standard. So first of all, if you fit a set of hand controls in your vehicle, especially in New South Wales and most other states of um, Australia, some of them you don't, but most of them you do. If you fit hand controls, it's classified as a significant modification to your vehicle. So you need to get that modification certified by an RMS or RTA engineer, or, or even uh, or your local authority or engineers in your local states. So every state has got their own scheme, um, but you do have to have some kind of certification of that, that, that hand control. Now the requirement for certification is you've got to make sure that those things are certified to Australian standards. So our government and standards committees get together in, in basically, which I'm very proud of because it protects our people and, 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 and it's in our best interest. So they get together and they create standards and they create ways of um, modifying vehicles or doing things so they can make sure that they are the, of the utmost safety for the public. And what they've determined in the Australian standard is hand controls that are portable do not comply. And the reason why is because hand controls that are portable do not have two ranges of motion generally. So what it is, is in the Australian standards, there is a specification that a hand control must have a push and a pull movement, or a side and another different movement. So it must be two distinctly di different movements in completely different directions to actuate the brake. And what we have seen, and the, and the accelerator. So you could have like downwards for the accelerator, forward for brake, you know, this way for the accelerator, forward for brake, fingers with the accelerator, forward for brake. I'll actually put a link down um, below to our, our page, which has got all of our hand controls, and you can see all the ranges and what I'm talking about. It might make a little bit more interest and more, more, um, more information. And from what we've seen of the portable hand controls on the market, they sit there and they are only in the same direction for both brake and accelerator, so because of that, or when they are in the same direction, they are not um, like they are not distinctly in a different di direction. And these are the ones that we have come across, right? Um, so again, as I've said in many of my videos, it's a big wild world out there, and and we do go and do some research around this stuff, and we try and find what we can. But there's always new things being developed. There's always innovative stuff out there that you've never seen before. So so there could be portable hand controls out there that do them in a different, distinctly different motion, but from what we have seen, they one, do not meet the Australian standard, so they cannot be certified, so when you fit them in your vehicle, they will be illegal, um, basically, unless you get them certified. So, so hopefully that clarifies the question. Thank you very much for Ben, for sending it in. If you're in the North Coast, Mid-North Coast area, go and see Ben. He's a uh, fantastic business, and uh, as I said before, 
hit that subscribe button. We want to really build up our subscribers. Um, wouldn't mind getting up to a thousand one day. Uh, we're only at about 10 or 15 or something like that, but who knows, we can dream big. Hit the pillow, um, hit, the, hit the subscribe button, and um, send us your questions. Thank you for tuning in, and go and visit Ben at Midcoast Motor Safe if you're in the area up at Port Macquarie. Thanks very much.